Okay, how are we doing? I'm Rashad, this is Maximus. Maximus, can you say hi? Hi. Hi, okay, so this video is a tutorial. Uh, actually, I wouldn't even call it a tutorial, it's just more our experience of putting together a UVC sanitizer. And the reason for this is because of COVID-19. We have a brother-in-law who's working at a hospital, frontline ICU, uh, lung, lung doctor, so he is dealing with all of the issues who are coming in and they're being asked to reuse their equipment and their masks and we wanted to give them an ability to sanitize it. We did a little bit of research and apparently UVC light can kill viruses and in all likelihood, they haven't tested it on, on COVID-19, but in all likelihood, it can kill COVID-19 as well. So we, we figured if we could come up with a design that could kill COVID-19 on masks, it would be the easiest way for them to sanitize the masks and reuse them because right now they were just writing their names on them and putting them in a brown bag and then getting them the next day. So all of this stuff we got off of Amazon or eBay. And so the key part, the first part, is so this, this is actually the first uh, box that we created. We're gonna be giving this to my brother-in-law uh, Bieber, he's you know he's the, the the frontline guy that I just mentioned. This is him right here. This is brother-in-laws. That's him. Him right there in the middle. So, oh no, I'm sorry. He's the guy on the side over here. Um, so we are going to be dropping this off tomorrow. But really, the power behind this is this germicidal bulb. So we got these. We got some of them on eBay. We got some of them on Amazon. What this has is, this has a mercury tube in here that creates a UVC light, which is 254 nanometers. By the way, right out of the gate, let me tell you, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a doctor, I'm an IT guy, so this is all research that we did online. And then we, we double check this with some scientists that we know, and they're telling us that this should do the trick. So this bulb was about $8, $9, something like that. I'll put the link later on down below the video. And this is ultimately what kills the virus. So we have that. What I first did when I did this was I got the bulb and you'll see the bulb, the irritating part is the base of the bulb is not a standard light socket bulb and which are known as E27. So this is a G23 bulb, which is kind of weird and it's hard to find uh, places to plug this in. There's like G24X. I found out way more about this stuff than I'd like. So then I went online and I couldn't find it on Amazon, but I found another place that had a G23 to E27 adapter, which is what we traditionally have. Because what I did also got, and this was off Amazon, and these are like five, five, ten bucks, something like that, um, a, a lamp shade socket with a button uh, with a little switch here to turn it on and off. And so the point here is that goes on the top of the sanitizer and we can turn it on and off. So right now I'm gonna save you guys the mistake because I put this in here, plugged it in and it blew the bulb. And for those of you who are smarter than me and understand how this stuff works with CFL bulbs, you know why it blew and it's because we did not have a ballast. So I found out that there is a ballast and this is the ballast we got that we wire, and I'll also put the wiring diagram in the notes below, but you gotta wire this to go between your 110 um, assembly of the lamp to the light bulb, and then what it does is it, it, it modulates the current in order for this gas, the gas in here to light up, and it becomes this nice cool looking blue. So we got the ballast, and then we were cooking. So this is the, the box that we created on the top. You can see we have the lamp cord coming in, going to the wall. We attached um, this uh, ballast to the top. And by the way, it's a magnetic ballast. So I'll put the, the part number for that there too. And then on the top of the box, you can see it. it's kind of dark in there right now, but you'll see it better later on. We've taped the actual germicidal nine watt, by, this, by the way, this is a nine watt bulb to the top. In retrospect, the box is probably higher than I would like right now. So what we're gonna do later on is we're gonna put a second bulb up there 
to increase the power because it's a, it's a big, if you put it on the certain stuff on the surface down here, it's a little bit too far away. You'll also notice we're wearing gloves and Max has got some eye protection as well. Um, we're not gonna, we're gonna try not to look directly at this bulb anyway, but even if your hand is in front of the UVC, and by the way, UVC is very different than UVA and UVB. Once again, I'm an IT guy, so I had to learn about all this stuff very recently, but UVC is the stuff that kills viruses, but unfortunately it also damages DNA, human DNA as well. So it can give you a nice good burn on your skin, uh, a good nice burn on your eyeball, so you wanna make sure that you're using proper protection. So, um, Max, if you could turn this on real quick yep. so they can see what it looks like. And I'm, I'm not going to look at this like directly. I'm going to see it through the laptop screen here. So you'll see here, Max, if you can kind of back up. I don't want you to take a look at that too closely. Uh, you, can, you can lower your skin, your uh, goggles too if you want. But you'll see down there, that's the bulb lit up. It has this nice, cool little blue look. So and a lot of people get confused by this. They get this bulb because they think it looks cool. And then they put it up and then they realize that it's very dangerous. And they'll, they'll, once they've made the mistake once and their eyes are completely in pain, they'll know that this bulb is a little bit unique. So this is known, once again, as a germicidal bulb. The key point here is... It, it runs at 254 nanometers, which is apparently part of the UVC spectrum. And so this bulb in here is a nine, nine watt bulb. And according to our research, uh, in, you know, easily in five minutes at a distance of about six inches, it should kill uh, coronavirus. So the point here is whether it be gloves, whether it be masks, you line them up here, five minutes later, it has disinfected them, sanitized them, and you should feel more comfortable than just letting them air out. Um, we have not used a light meter or anything like that on this box, so we don't officially know that it works, but in these sort of times, you kind of do what you need to do. Um, we do plan on putting, Max, if you can just hand me one of those two. We do plan on putting this on top to make it very clear to people that this is, uh, they need protection. So we're gonna put this here. So already we created this first box for uh, my brother-in-law and we're going to deliver it to the hospital tomorrow so they can start using it. They've, uh, after we started talking about this, they realized there's actually commercial folks that make things like this. Uh, but those are all backordered, big surprise, because the whole world wants these right now. So hopefully this will be able to fill the gap. Uh, and then we're putting a lot of caveats there too, uh, just because last thing we want is to give them a box and then give them... Um, this uh, some certainty. Uh, really, people are telling me that if you put the mask in there, the viruses should be killed in just frankly a, a, a matter of seconds or minutes. Uh, we're going to tell them put it in there for at least five minutes, maybe even longer, uh, and this should allow them to reuse their personal protective equipment. So that's the goal here. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh, the next. We've also, also we've already had requests from others. So just like a lot of you guys, we've got a B-Day recently because of the, everyone's making a run on, on toilet paper. But so we've got requests for another box because we got some more of these bulbs. And uh, we're planning, Max, actually, can you turn the light off? Yep. That'd be great. Um, so our next plan is to use one and make one that's not as tall. So you'll see that this one is a lot taller. This one in the back, this one's shorter. So we're gonna put two light bulbs, we'll mount them on the top. So that way, if the masks are put at the bottom layer of the cardboard here, um, it's going to be closer to the bulbs and hopefully be even more powerful than this one where they're a little bit further up. I think on this one, we're going to recommend to them to actually put, the, put maybe a little tray here and have the masks. The other plan is we're going to line the entire inside with aluminum foil tape to kind of to create more of a rough reflective area. So that's our UVC sanitizer. Hopefully. Uh, our little bit in trying to get the personal protective equipment uh, more of it available because unfortunately I wish I had um, masks that I could share because it's the best thing. Next video we're going to do, we're going to use one of these, which is a filtrate filter. This is not N95 level of filtration, 
but it's a lot better than just the rat or standard masks that the government is telling you to make out of you know, bandanas. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually use this material and have that be for the breathing orifices in uh, a mask. So uh, this is what you do. Uh, we don't have anything else to do right now other than kind of try to do our remote work, but this is our way to try to make it a little bit safer for us. And most importantly, uh, brother-in-law and the second box, as I think I may have mentioned, uh, we have a client that's a nursing home. And so they're, they're obviously uh, very, very scared right now. And this should hopefully give them some more security. What do you think, Max? Yes. And we'll put all the products right here in the link in the description. So you guys can click on the link and then you'll know where to get the stuff. Oh, that's a good idea. So you're going to do that? You're going to put the link in for them? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, thanks, guys.